Hello YouTube and welcome to your 16th Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial it's just going to be like an extension of the last tutorial it covers the same concept but instead of using instead of quitting a for loop we're going to be qu quitting a do loop um, you can quit do while um, to uh, which is just the same thing do and do while the same thing okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to add a new button come down here just make this a little bit bigger for a new button uh, come over to the toolbox button add it right there size it make it look good we'll set the text to quitting a do loop and we'll set the name to button quitting do Okay, so let's just make this look a little better here. And now let's start coding. So just double click, quitting a do loop. And it'll take us to the method that handles that button being clicked. So we're just going to start off like we always do and um, clear the list. And then we're going to declare a variable int count as in integer. And we're going to set it equal, set it equal to zero, and then we'll come down below that, and we're going to start our do while loop. So do while um, int count is less than ten, and um, we're just going to go ahead and add int count to our list data box list data dot items dot add int count and don't forget to convert it to a string so pretty simple so far um, we don't want in count we want int count so we went ahead and added that to our list data and um, so now what we want to do is we just want to take up int count by one Nah. Okay, hold on. So, int count. Okay, hold on. That's C++. Sorry. I've been using C++, so I just assumed that would work. Okay. So, int count plus equals 1. And if I haven't covered this in other tutorials, int count plus equals 1 is the same as typing int count is equal to int count plus 1. And if you do int count minus... Um, if you do in count minus equals one instead of um, plus equals one, it's the same as um, in count minus one, and that's the same for anything multiplication, division. I don't know about modulus. Uh, you'll have to check that out. But um, we're just going to add one to in count. Come down there, just incrementing by one. And now, uh, like in the last tutorial, we're going to test to see if it's time to quit the loop. So if int count is equal to 5, then exit do. It's that simple, um, just like exit 4. And um, so we'll go ahead and run this, come back and explain it one more time, and then that'll be the, that'll be the end of the tutorial. So we'll just go ahead and click quitting a for loop. Uh, just so we can get something up in the list data box and then when we click on quitting a do loop you can see that it um it cleared the list and let's come down here so it cleared the list and type and then uh, display zero one two three four so I'll go ahead and explain this so we started off clearing the list which is we hit the top private sub clear list first list data dot items not clear. Um, so clearing the list, then we declared a variable int count as integer, and we set it equal to zero. Pretty simple. Then we started our do while loop. So do while int count is less than ten. So um, do everything inside of our loop um, if int count is less than ten, and just keep doing it. And then 
we just went ahead and added int count to our box. So um, we start off with int count equal to ze equals zero. So when we add int count to the box, it's going to set it to zero, and it's going to add one to it, um, which will make it equal to one. And then uh, it'll go ahead and test if int count is equal to five, then exit do. And since it is not equal to five, it just go it'll just go ahead and skip over this if statement and go back to the loop and it'll loop again and then it'll equal two that time and it'll keep doing that and then once it equals five and then it tests it with the if statement it's going to exit the do loop and um, we'll just go ahead and add a message box message box dot show um, int count is less than five exiting do while loop and then we'll just go ahead and title it loops again and now when we run it you can see when I click quitting a do loop it says int count is less than five exiting do while loop so um, go ahead look at this code if you have to pause the video just go ahead and do that Practice it, make a couple of your own little apps so you can get really familiar with it and then move on to the next tutorial. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.